Hi there. Up for sale here is a 1995 Chevrolet Corsica. Four-cylinder engine, three-speed automatic. Body's in pretty good shape considering the year. Nice clean interior and trunk. I'll start it up for you in a moment. It does need a bit of work before it can go on the highway. But it's got four real good tires on it. I think we only put about 20,000 kilometers on them before we stopped driving this. We bought a bigger car. Four BF Goodrich Traction TA tires. Nice deep treads. See that? All four of them. Worth about 500 bucks. We paid 500 bucks for these tires. Could use a bit of paint here and a bit of paint on some spots. And there's a few dents and dings. Well, it looks pretty good considering. Nice clean interior. Great. Rear seat. Power locks. Air conditioning. But I think the compressor shaft seal is gone. Okay, an FM cassette. 200 and 269,000 kilometers. That's kilometers. Notice the speedometer. This is in Canada. Three speed automatic. It needs a couple of new rear brake lines under here. But from here on, from here on to the rear axle, they've been replaced already. So it's just a section from here up to the master cylinder. Two lines. The front, I think, are okay. We had a major overhaul done in 2006. Two years before I stopped driving in 2008. New tires, shocks, ball joints, brakes, bearings. Three new wheel bearings. I got some, here it's in the trunk, power trunk release. Nice clean trunk with the cargo net. Here's the rear seat. Here's a bit of oil on the door hinge. <laughs> that splotch there is from some Javix, unfortunately. But not to worry because from a wreck yard, I got another seat over here. Nice seat cushion with the folding seat back, allowing you to stick long stuff into the trunk. Very easy to install. All you need is undo a few bolts and one of those special seat belt buckle star Torx bolts, and you just slip it right in. And there's a rear view mirror for the windshield. The windshield needs to be replaced, it has a crack in it. Oh, it's held up okay the past few years. You can see the crack there. It's sort of worrisome. It doesn't affect your vision much. I'll start her up and take it for take it for a little test drive. Needs a new muffler, but I do have a nice OEM stainless steel muffler that just needs to be installed along with a new mount. Where's that hood latch? There we go. Hood latch inside, the cable is broken. There we go. Four cylinder. Got a new alternator and a good battery. We put a new cylinder head gasket in it a few years ago. 
and it's pretty good now. It still leaks a little bit into the spark plug hole there, but it doesn't use much coolant. Maybe a glass of coolant every month or two. Hardly anything. Don't really worry about it too much. That's okay. I'll close the hood. Ah, these prop rods are a bit of a... There you go. Accelerates real nice. I've also got a few other things for sale. 1986 6.2 diesel, suburban, running, nice, drives fine. Needs some body work. This was also a diesel, 4x4. Needs a bit of work in the drivetrain. The body's good, nice and solid. Which reminds me. Here's the muffler for the Corsica. Nice OEM stainless steel with the mount there. Just stick it on at a garage and nice and quiet. The pipes are fine in there, it's just the muffler. Also have some garage trusses. I have them for sale. We are building garage but deal fell through, find somebody who could find a use for them. I have videos of all three of these. Take a take a look. Now, back to the test drive. This is uphill. It's a very zippy car, even if it is a four-speed, four-cylinder. Nice and smooth. Like I said, we got a whole bunch of work done, and it also has got a new radiator and a new gas tank. Like refurbished gas tank. Because the old one started leaking, we put a new one in. Everything's nice and tight. Drives straight on the highway, no drifting or pulling. One of the last things I should mention that's about the worst thing wrong with the car is the heater core failed. So it means there's no heat. I bypassed it in the engine compartment so the coolant doesn't leak out. But if you're going to drive it in the winter, you have to get a new heater core and install it in the dashboard area. So you can drive it as it is because I fixed the... Because I fixed the line so they don't leak. So if you want to use it as a summer car, it would be perfect. Who needs heat in the summer? <laughs> so there you go. Power locks. So let me know what you think. My contact information is on the page there. Let me know and give me a call and we can work out a deal. Don't forget it's got four brand new, almost new tires on it. It's worth quite a bit right there. Thanks for watching.